Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 55 of Let's Play Xenogears. Alright, it's time for us to keep going deep within Solaris, and I wonder where the hell we are now. This looks a little bit more refined when we had this little hallway with the glass. Oh yeah, this is definitely a little out there. And that's all it was, just a simple hallway. I thought they would literally just throw something else there. Just door after door after door, and now there's a fight. Oh, Orphan? No. That one will be a bit lengthy. Let's see what's over this way first. Keep going or just go in this whole side room. Assuming that's a side room. <sighs> it never ends. I mean, it never fails. I just regular defense down, just making sure that I don't mess it up again. I will get a little bit of money for our troubles. <laughs> That's usually the only reason I would fight these guys, just for the cash. Okay, they both have regular defense down. That makes things a little easier for me. Let's see what we got up around here. Once we can actually open the door. Man, I forgot Ellie still has one last death blow, and that's her water one. Oh, come on! Was that on purpose? Or was it, I actually just got the bad luck? And there was a fight right at that very time, like a random encounter. I only just wanted to press a button. Ooh, Ellie leveled up. But I wasn't even in that room very long. Huh? Just play the sound. Are they all by the same one? Hold on, let's try that one too. Seems like the first and third sound were exactly the same. We got a Dark Helm. Is that any good? I hope it's good. Right, dark Helm, Dark Helm. Did I pass it? I think I passed it. I don't understand why, why they have it in this kind of order. Ooh, increases Ether Defense too. Alright, I'm wearing that. You gotta be kidding me. I'm in another fight. I've had two or three fights. And I think it was just two. In this old dinky ass room! Just this one room! This is getting a little crazy. Oh well, at least I got a new helmet out of it. So it can't be all that bad. Just slightly time consuming, you know? 
but it is what it is. Sadly, there's no item to reduce encounters for a period of time. Otherwise, I probably would have, like, emptied my bank account in-game to get this. I'm serious, I would have done that. Oh well, might as well just keep going then. Yeah, I think we're done with this room, right? I don't see anything else here. What else could be in this room? Any more music sounds? Looks like where they station guns. Oh my god! Stop with the fights! Oh, oh great, I failed all three times. Ridiculous. Oh, no, that time it worked. <laughs> Oh, I do see a chest. What's in it? Dark armor. Oh. Will this also increase either defense? It actually lowers defense but increases ether defense. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for Faye, because he already has sky high defense. But his ether defense is really lacking. Yeah, this definitely looks like some kind of gun room. Alright, enough of that. I wonder if we'll find some more dark helms and armors. Nope, I see something floating. And another chest. Oh my god. This is excessive right now. <laughs> it really is. Then again, there were some areas that were also pretty excessive. BJM 686S ammo. That's all it was for? It's like some kind of lounge room. Like that part where you were just Faye taking on like a whole, like the Gebler army and stuff. But, bef but on the way there, like assailing that cliff, the encounters were just nuts. Granted, they were easy, but still, it was just too much. Defense down, defense down. You'll be my first victim. Maybe this will get Ellie above the hump. Remember, we still need to get that other death blow. Defense down. Ether defense down. Alright, Faye will take this one. So I don't think C10 has an offensive ether attack. No, he does not. So I made the right decision. I think it is a little dumb that the encounter rate is a little too high. Like, why does it have to be as high as it is? I'm just saying. Guess we'll go the other hallway. There is a console for inputting the password. Oh god, I think I might need to sneeze. Hang on. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the worst feeling. When you need to sneeze and then it just stops. Inputting the password, I think that's the sounds. Activate the audio signal with the up, down, left, and right directional buttons. Press the X button to finish, press circle button to exit, please enter signal now. Okay, I think that's the first one I've heard. That seems like the last one. 
I think it's up, down, up, left, right. Audio signal confirmed. Deactivating door lock. There we go. Now we can actually make progress. What the hell could be in here then? Whoa. Okay. Alright, something tells me I can just drop down, but should I? Oh, actually, no, you can't drop down. Are you kidding me? I just want to open a box. Please let me open a box. Jeez. It's one thing after another. Survival tent. Th that stairway does not look safe to me, I'm just saying. Come on! I didn't even finish the stairwell! Which, again, is not a good stairwell. You can just slide right off. I'm really glad that some RPGs did away with, you know, the random encounter system. I mean, Octopath Traveler did not. That's, that's still a good game. But at least the encounter rate wasn't abysmally high. If anything, it, that just made it a pain in the ass to grind. But dear god, it was more enjoyable for that reason. Wow. Ellie hardly got anything out of that one. All right, let's uh, end this now. <laughs> Cause I'm just about done with this place. I hope. <laughs> I don't know how much more there is to explore in this area. I mean, we've seen a lot. Ooh, Aqua Frost, there we go. That's our last death blow. Once again, I get in a fight the very instant I Get some kind of input going. Ooh, there's a chest over here. You mother fuckers. <laughs> you actually did it. You actually freaking did it. Two chests in a row. Wait, a chest? A door? Wait, was it the door? It might have been the door. I wouldn't be surprised. And then another chest. Oh man, I really hope I don't use the bathroom, otherwise I'm fighting security cubes with my dong out. Extra R Deluxe. Okay. And then as soon as the fight o is over, I start peeing. I wouldn't put it past it. Might as well check the other stairwells in case there's a treasure chest there too. And look where I'm standing. This is not even a joke anymore! Like, jokes are funny! This is not funny! The only difference is I didn't press X yet. But look, I didn't even need to move, so I was right there. Extra R plus 6. And this was after I already picked the better one. I guess we'll check out this one, too. That's also a stairwell. They just reuse, like, the same kind of room. Just different treasure chest contents. Silver R plus one. And then we'll go back up again. I mean, I'll give it to him. It's wheelchair accessible. You know, if your wheelchairs can actually go up such an incline like this. There. Get out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Well, at least I'll come out of this like a nice chunk of money, because, you know, these guys won't leave me alone. Oh, another side room. How many side rooms does this place even need? Can't even interact with anything here, really. Come on! Can I at least take a peek in there first? Sonic Wave. What on earth is a Sonic Wave? Is it a weapon? Uh, it doesn't look like a weapon to me. What about an accessory? No. I don't think it's armor. That would be ridiculous. Maybe it's an item? Oh, what am I thinking? Of course it's not an item. I bet you it's something for the gear. It's Sonic Wave. Sonic Wave. I see Noise Filter. That probably wouldn't make any sense. Uh, I don't see Sonic Wave. It's not like it's a weapon. I'll probably find out what it is later, but for now... I think I'm just gonna have to move on. Alright, next room, if there is one. Oh, looks like there's something right here. Maybe there's just something in the game that increases your chances of an encounter if you're interacting with something. Silver R plus one. We already picked one up in this place alone. Case in point! I hit X on the door. Now all of a sudden they want to fight me. I kind of just don't want to fight them. <laughs> I'm usually like this, like running from a lot of fights if I feel an area is going pretty long. And there's not much incentive to do much fighting, so... Are you kidding me? When I'm not getting that much experience for leveling anyway. I mean, look at my levels. Are they that low for this point in the game? I don't think they are. I can probably find better places later. Like, places where I can go in and out of at any time. Gold Nugget. Yeah, they really are just reusing rooms. Come on! Every time! Can I open a door in peace? God, it would have made more sense if I got in a fight... After the door opens, not before. Oh, this dungeon is just designed to piss me off. Okay, see, taking a turn and getting in a fight, that's sensible. I'll give you that. But otherwise, you know, hitting a button to open the chest, hitting a button to open the door, Hitting a button to open a cold one with the boys. What is this? What is this place? I see a bunch of holograms. But holograms of us! Why are there holograms of us in a Solaris place? Do I just keep tabs on us? Faye. Lamps number 00158975 Fei Fong Wong. Ether response, infinite. Animal alignment, infinite. Comments, contact, immediate disposal desired. Okay, what about Ellie? Ellie, minister number 6920188-2. Ellie Van Houten. Ether response, infinite. Animal alignment, infinite. 
Comments. Possible anti-type. Approval for retrieval and necessary analysis granted. Okay, so they don't want to kill her. What about C-10, a former citizen? <laughs> Lance number, blah 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 blah, Hugo Richto. Ether response 240, animus alignment 98. Comments none. Wait, how come only like Ellie and Faye got infinite, but C-10 doesn't? Speed ring S? Or what you got on Bart? Bart. Bartholomew Fatima. Ether response 210, animal alignment 90. Comments. Upon Dan Anima's retrieval, schedule for Anima's adjustment. Dan? Was that Alice's brother? Or is there another Dan? Billy! Billy Black. Ether response 290, animal alignment 92. Comments. Schedule for Anima's adjustment. <laughs> Isn't that what the execution is for, I guess? R Ricardo Banderas. Ether response 160, animal alignment 85. Comments. Created by the ethos as an experimental experimental mixture. Used by the Kislev Battling Association to measure battle potential. The data has been transferred. Schedule for animus adjustment. Oh, choo choo. Primitive animal. Ether response not applicable. Animal alignment not applicable. Comments. Unusable. And all and dispose. What about the little girl? Emeralda. Ether response not applicable. Animal alignment none. Comments. Nano machine colony. Data analysis complete. And all and dispose. Oh, she's a new one too, and they already don't like her. Maria Balthazar. Ether response 170. Animal alignment 74. Comments unusable. This is very freaky that they have all this background info on us. Oh, I thought we had another battle. I was like, oh my god, not this again. Huh? This one won't, won't open either. I didn't know there was a console there. This way. Why? Is the deactivation code for the... No. Doc, wait. What's this facility for? This place was not meant to be seen since the origin of time. This facility centers around the Emperor and the Ministry's longevity experiments. The origin of time? Yes. 10,000 years ago, beings called humans were born here. The first for the Emperor and the Ministry's Elders. How could a human live 10,000 years? Now only the Emperor is left. His destiny is to never die. However, the Ministry is different. Once, during the Diabolos invasion, the Ministry Elders died losing their bodies. Now the Solaris Governing Ministry exists as data and memory banks. Each of their personalities are bits of data. Is the data on the memory bank? Having neither flesh nor souls, they are just binary numbers. They both exist and do not exist at the same time. After the fall, wanted to resurrect their bodies and create a worthy vessel. They transferred a research facility that was once a Soylent system on the land to Etranank. Eventually, the facility was no longer only for the Emperor's life and the Ministry's resurrection. But it began producing food and drugs with additives that controlled the public. The memory cube Fay and them were using was meant for obtaining living data. Of course, the Ethos also sent various data to help. That means we were living for those elderly people of Gazel? Yes. They're transferring and taking living data via, via memory cubes to the Ministry so they can use them to resurrect their bodies? Yes. You and those mutants getting disassembled at that factory were too? Basically, they wish to reuse the useless dregs. That's horrid! How could they... Hold on, Faye. Something's not right. C-10, how would you know that? 
Not even the government or the army knows such things. What? Come to think of it, it seems like we took the long way here on purpose. There must have been a faster way to burden them. Also, the route to get to this block can't even be downloaded on the map. So how do we know what streets we were on? Doc, didn't you also find out... That's impossible! First of all, that partition we took to get into this block. That panel was displayed to be a P4 facility. Even a high-ranking officer of Solaris can't get in here. You think they leave a facility like that unlocked and open? And you could open it? Who exactly are you? Hey, wait a minute. It could have been luck. Something's wrong. You were able to get into Solaris under martial law. Sneak into the palace, get through a P4 level door, and even learn the purpose of the P4 facility. How is that possible? Even father. I'm sure it was possible you were in Solaris Sin. Even Jesse, who was also in Solaris Sin, didn't know the motive behind the M project. So C10, why do you know? You know even more than Maria. Details of Maria. Something's not right. I know it. Ellie, uh, um... I'm not done! I should have known it sooner, C10. Who are you? What? Hey, you okay? Ellie, Ellie, Ellie! Doc, C10! Damn, got us. Ellie, C10! Where are you? Alright, it's a little dark. I don't know if this is the right way to go. Damn, no good. It won't open. I can barely see through the compass and everything. I hope I'm going the right direction. Okay, at least that door opened. Uh, should I be in the Street Fighter 4 training room? Ellie! Doc! You there? Uh, what? What? This... Ah! I apologize for anybody that's photosensitive. Uh... Huh? This is... Girl... Can't... Get it! Uh... This is... What is this? Why are you showing me this? Who? Who did this? Ellie! Doc! Where are you? Where... You brought about this spectacle. That voice is the one which haunts you. Cursed, untouchable one. Oh, God's beloved child. Those who prevent our prayers. Get. Destroy. Burn with God's fire. What? Doc? These guys? What is this? Bart? Billy? Doc? What's going on? What are you all- Doc! Answer me! One of the Solaris Guardian Angels is here. Hugo Richto. This man is Kane, receiving the orders from the one known as Emperor. You've entered his realm and have been under his continued supervision. Solarius Guardian Angel? Monitoring me? Oh yes. We've got it, Solaris, and even selected the animus which have been drawn to you and guided you here to Solaris. The animus is needed for our resurrection. These are our bodies, 
this what we possess. Yes, this is the only reason we exist. The bodies of Bart and the others belong to you? Is that true? Doc! What they are saying? Why so apprehensive? Is it that you were sold out by the one you trusted? I'm not talking to you guys. Doc, answer me! Three years. For three years, I have been by your side. I had to determine whether you were going to be our enemy or not. Revenge? Yes, the enemy. Your existence is a threat to us. It was necessary to keep an eye on you. The one who ordered you to be watched was Cain. We were planning on the maturation of the Animus. And your termination. We also sent Hyuga to you. However, every attempt to terminate you has failed. Because of that good-for-nothing trash. Even so, we now possess Animus. Hugas fulfilled his duties well. Is... that it? You were in with these guys? That's why you... everyone... Why? You've had your way all this time with us land dwellers. You already own the world. What more do you want? You must know by now that we plan to resurrect God. God will awaken from his long slumber after man has populated the land. Then, Mah Mahanan too will awaken. Aerial Paradise Mahanan? The place fell to earth. Paradise. <laughs> that may be a proper description. Our Ark. In the center block Lord Mahanan is sealed in. That is the source of God's wisdom. A paradise of knowledge. Using that knowledge, we will resurrect the awakened God and build our Ark to take us both into the great universe. The construction of our Ark to reign over God's forces in this great universe. The creation of the Angel Malak. The M Project was for that very purpose. What do you mean? We are orphans in this universe. We were thrown away onto this planet in solitude along with God. We humans were not born on this planet. Long ago, we came here from another Heavenly body. We are beings from an alien planet. That's ridiculous! This is true. You have seen the various regions of this world. Why do you think there are no records of humans before 10,000 years ago? This is the will of God. The God's revival has been faded since before the time before Genesis. We will be the one, be one with God. Attaining a new animus, we will once again return to the starry skies. That is the meaning of our existence. That is our supreme objective. So you're not planning on using Solaris power to dominate the world? Of course! What meaning is there in having control of a planet as insignificant as this? God has given us the right to rule over the universe! Yes, only we who do not carry impure blood have the right to a pardon. So, we will resurrect God. It's been an eternity since our exile from paradise. If the time of God's revival does not come, we will have to follow the path to destruction, but... Having attained Animus, our resurrection is near. Next is God's resurrection. Krillian? This one only waits for the awakening. Ellie?
am I? I've looked into your records. The Krellian Commander? Ellie Van Houten. That incident at the Jugend one year ago. Case 102. The release of your latent powers from that systematic administration of mental enhancement drugs. In that instant, your ether value had increased beyond 400. And in that moment, two were critically wounded and three required recycling. Am I right? Please stop! But this record is wrong. This wasn't the usual uncontrollable mental side effects. This was caused by the awakening of your other inner self. My other self? Where's Faye? Where is everyone? They will be used as an offering for the resurrection of the Gazelle Ministry. The same fate awaits that girl, the artificial organism. I've already taken enough samples from her. I'm already well into the fourth stage of my plan. All I need now is the final factor. Hence, your friends are no longer of any use to me. They're worthless. But, you are different. You're planning on sending them to the same fate as... those people in that research facility. Doing all this for your own selfish ambitions. Do you know what you're doing? People playing with other people's lives. That's deplorable. I see. So you've seen the research facility. Presently, the Slaris researchers are working on genetic engineering down there. It's just a nest for fools who've learned the despicable pleasure of playing with their own organic creations. They seek only serendipity and inhumanity. That is not my place. I specialize in molecular engineering, nanotechnology. Do you know what this is? A nano machine. A molecular machine. This is the assembler, which is one of those nano machine machines. It can break down molecules and atoms and reconstruct it into anything. Each of these spheres are equivalent to an atom. Until recently, we were only able to produce materials which were several times the size of this. Thanks to that girl, the one we obtained from the ruins of the Zeboim civilization, we are now able to make it this compact and elaborate. To think that such a mechanism was created 4,000 years ago! It's quite astonishing. Up until we discovered this, the work was rather crude. The best we could possibly do until now is to apply amino acid solutions for wounded, to wounded areas for amelioration or to seal up any peculiar abilities. I'm sure you've had some exposure to genetics when you were in the Jugend. Each type of those enzymes inside of the DNA were also molecular machines that were created by nature. That is, if we are indeed the progeny of the very first organism. What do you think of accomplishing by using that molecular machine? What connection do I have with it? Although the nanomachines up until now could recombine DNA, they couldn't uncover any information in the intron which are located in the replacements of the double helix. However, the newer nanomachines easily discovered this data. Data that should ori originally should not have existed. And we are about to see the results of that. Hmm. According to the transferred record, it depicts a similar wave frequency as expected. And yes, the, the Ouroboros ring. That is it, isn't it? Miang and Lacan's emotions. This explains everything. Elaim, you were the mother. Mother? Yes. This is what your genetic exon looked like before replacement. This is a conceptualized form of the intron which carries information that isn't supposed to exist. Observe. This is the Ouroboros ring which contains intron information which only exists in certain people. Ouroboros 
if we were to anatomize such a thing. Wouldn't you be interested in what type of information it would have to offer us? Elaine, you are beautiful. When I look at you, I appreciate the artistic aspect of the human form. It's elaborateness. I can't help but feel the importance of that. Okay, that's getting kind of creepy. As if my molecular machine is unworthy of you. You haven't changed since then. Just like the other one, Lacan. Ugh. Are you conscious? Doc. It is impossible to move. This machine has physically cut your nerve signals. You will not be able to lift a finger regardless of what your mind says. What are you going to do to me? To burden them? Where is Ellie? Do not worry. They have their roles. You have yours. I simply investigate. Damn it! This... What was I... So the battle has been fought, you say? That was discussed earlier by the Ministry. God damn it! We weren't born to be used by them! We didn't come all the way to Solaris for that! I... We... Everyone! We just want to make a place where we can belong! That's what we were fighting for! But now... It is much easier to be given a place to belong than to make one yourself. You do not even understand a simple concept like that? Only the true, childish ideals pale when placed before reality. But actually many are satisfied with that. Being given one's place frees one from any risks. Misfortunes may be blamed on others. Do you know why people cannot exist alone, but only under such some bigger concepts such as a group or country? People need a place to go to be themselves. The more stable it is, the more effective it is. The Ministry gives them such a place. Under total surveillance, there is no need to bear the risk of maintaining one's own individuality. They simply live under the delusion of being an individual. What could be easier? Facts are facts, so let's just accept them. It'll be easier for all of us. Resistance is futile. It only makes things painful. I... I... Do you still intend to do something about it? Look at yourself. What do you think you could possibly do at this stage? You cannot move. You cannot even protect your friends who fought with you when they needed you. You cannot even protect the most important person in your life, Ellie. Stop! Please! You can do nothing. Quit it. Now, we may take our time and talk, id. This guy again. Commander? What are you? Where? What? Where? I'm asking you where? That hurts. Please. Please stop. Where is he? Where? I know you know. Take me to him. Who are you referring to when you say that man? Are you talking about Faye? Faye. 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 Faye this. Faye that. Faye. In what way is he more superior than I? I will not accept it. I will not. Urgh. Ramses! That drug! 
A mental stabilizer? Why are you so shook up like that? What's forcing you to go through all this? What happened between you and Faye? Damn it, Faye! I'll show you. I... Jeez, he's not much of a sore loser. <laughs> Ramses! Hey, hang in there. Hey, you're conscious? Now, let's go. You traitor! Stop! Fay! Don't stop, Bert! He betrayed us! He betrayed us and Ellie! Stop, Fay! It's your mistake! Let go! Let me go! Calm down, Fay! Bart isn't lying. C10 is the one who helped us. Billy? Huh. If Billy says it, you listen. Listen very carefully. That limiter is implanted in our bodies. Right now, this research facility is the only place where we can get them removed. C10 misled Krillian and the other guys and brought us in here to remove the limiter. What? But Doc was just... Is that true? Yeah. I thought we already had the limiter removed. Doc? That is not the only reason why I brought you here. Those who want to become independent from Solaris must know the actual situation and its true form. Who is doing what and why? Ostensibly, I received a covert order from the Emperor to contact the body wanted by the Ministry and send the data. And if possible, bring the body back. That was my duty. As a result, I had no choice but to deceive you. Please forgive me. I see how it is. Besides, I myself had a matter that had to be verified in this facility. For sure? I'll tell you that after we escape from here. It is something you must know. By the way, C10, you did remove Phase Limiter, didn't you? What? Y yes, of course. That is... Alright then, let's get out of here. Wait, what happened to Ellie? Weren't you with her? Ellie was taken to Krillian's research lab. It could not be stopped. I'm sorry. Why only Ellie? I do not know. But one thing bothers me. When Krellian took Ellie, I had a chance to acquire Ellie's cellular information. I analyzed it and found something very interesting. Excuse me, I mean, unusual. There's no limiter implanted in her. There's no limiter? Isn't that because Ellie is from Solaris? Even Solaris citizens have a limiter implanted when they are born. There are exceptions for certain people like myself and Ramses, whose limiters can be removed later on through the treatment such as the one I did for Bart. But you must have permission from the Ministry to do so. Is that why... Ellie? There must be more to it than that. I don't know the reason. But Krillin is so absorbed by her data... I don't care what the reason is. For now, let's help Ellie and get out of here fast. You're right. If we mess up here, I put those guys who went to help Ellie's parents in danger. C10, we're going to Krillian's private research lab as planned. We'll meet up at the rendezvous point. What about Doc? There's still something left to be done. I will go destroy the last gate. Doc! Sword? Yes. Yui gave it to me as I was leaving. I used to use it before I met her. For a long time I vowed not to use it for killing though. But now is not the time to contemplate morals. 
It's not fair for me to be the only innocent one. I see. But... Yes? You're always so mischievous, Doc. It isn't my nature. I am sorry. Forgive me. Yo, C-10! Let me handle Faye and Ellie's situation. Now that the limiter is removed, Solaris doesn't stand a chance. Oh yes. By the way, young one. About the effects of removing the limiter. The results will not show up that quickly. Already your physical limiters have been removed naturally. The part I have removed is the psychological section. That is, the subconscious fear and veneration for the Ministry and the Emperor have been removed. Basically, you'll be able to battle against them without any fears or hesitations. It is not that you have suddenly become more powerful. Uh, are you serious? Oh my god, how many more cutscenes are there? Okay, I guess we're going this way then. Do I get to save eventually? According to C-10, Krillian's private laboratory should be below us. Well, it's a good thing he left. <laughs> Ellie! You okay? Faye! Yes! Yes, I'm fine! Sorry to interrupt you two, but this is not the time for a heartfelt reunion. Quickly! This way! Oh, that's actually very helpful. What took you so long? I've only got so many bullets! Hurry up and blow them away! I am sorry. I have other matters to attend to. What the hell are you doing? To his majesty's... You mean the emperor? Are you sure, Hyuga? Yes. His majesty understands the situation. He says to leave it up to them. There. It is done. Sir! Yes! We're out of here. Huh? Where is he? Hyuga! Car? So, you too. You are also betraying me. Car, we are just in different situations. I did not mean to betray you. I decided to stick with Faye's group. Did you say Faye? You too. You're on his side. I'll never forgive you. Never! Car. You're an enemy, but why are you so attached to one kid? You weren't like that before. Shut up! I've gotta get on with my own hands. And all of you working with him are my enemies. Enemies stealing my things. Enemies, enemies, enemies! The car! Hey, we're going! I don't know what on, but I don't have time to deal with them now. But. Hyuga! You see. <laughs> he just, just stays right there. <laughs> you traitors! I guess we'll just go down again. I kind of know where ducks are there. Like, seriously. Oh, looks like there's a door? Oh, good, a save point! Oh, that's Faye! Faye's Kim is here! Father! Mother! 
Ellie! You should thank Hammer. Hammer got your parents at the right time. Right, Hammer? Yes. Yes, exactly. Th thank you, Hammer. I'd like to thank you, too. Never thought I'd see my daughter again. Thank you, Hammer. Listen, everyone. We have no time to waste. So that we do not stand out, we should split up into two groups. Faye, you have done a lot. But I would like to have you move on ahead and take two more members with you. Move along southwest of here and cross two mobile contact bridges. There you will find a hangar that will lead you outside. We will meet at the footbridge near there. If you talk to the blue memory cubes, you will be able to make contact with the other party members. You can thus change which members you wish to have in your current party. I shut down alarms here and there when I was breaking gates. But it's still dangerous. Be careful. I'll go to the hangar beforehand and arrange a ride for us. Solaris is in confusion now. So if I go alone, I can pull some strings. Okay. Please do not overdo it. Yeah, I know. Ellie. Medina. See you again. Dear. Please be careful. Father. Oh my god, I finally get to save the game after, what, five days of dialogue? <laughs> Incredible. Alright, so I'll have to think about who I'm gonna have as my party for this. I would definitely want someone with some magic coverage if I gotta deal with security cubes again. I mean, Faye can kinda do that too, actually. So I wonder if I just want to go... Maybe I can bring Ellie with me? But I wouldn't mind bringing Bart, too. I'll think about that for the next episode. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.